My name is Andrew Naylor. I run a uh, scanning business in the Central West. And uh, here today we are uh, scanning about 2,000 Merino ewes during the Dorsets. And um, we've had some uh, previous uh, requisites with today. And um, we've probably got about four, four main points that um, we need to organise as scanners with growers. Um, the first being uh, organising the scanning dates. Uh, generally you work on uh, a uh, six week joining and then six weeks later you scan. Or another way to look at it is 84, which is scan between 84 and 95 days. And that also equates to about three months which gives you a rough idea as to when to scan. Uh, this is for mainly twinning and fetal ageing. Wet and drying you need about six weeks from when the rams come out to get the last one. Um, also um, probably the next point is um, number two would be to have your ewes uh, empty which means putting them in the yards overnight off feed and water and um, if you you know scanning in the afternoon you probably need at least five hours off feed and water. Uh, number, number three um, in preparation for pushing sheep up is to have two people, a uh, minimum of two people to keep the sheep up, plus dogs, and um, to also um, have the yards uh, wet down uh, to suppress dust. Um, it's good for everybody concerned. Uh, the sheep run better, it's uh, better for the dogs, and um, us as scanners, it's um, it's a lot better because we sit down there all day in the dust, so um, that's another point to be to be aware of. And uh, a final one is um, we, as far as fetal ageing goes, um, the optimum time to do that is the same as uh, twinning, and probably the maximum amount of time um, between the breaks would be two weeks. So you would have. Uh, the first two weeks of your lambing, the second two weeks, and then the last two weeks. Or otherwise, just a small split at the end to take the lates out. And this is uh, improves for management, the lamb marking, and um, provides smaller groups for nutritional requirements.